Hi third grade, we're back on our writing subject and we're going to take a look at our draft and we're going to see if there's anything we want to improve or change and then we're going to get started on our final. Okay, so let's take a look at what we've got. I've got my date, name of my school and my city, dear Mrs. Hardwick, and I wrote, hello, Mrs. Hardwick, my name is Tracy Lewis. I have curly blonde hair and blue eyes. I wear glasses. I am in third grade at Immaculata. It sounds kind of boring. Hmm. Let's see. Hello, Mrs. Hardwick. My name is Tracy Lewis. I have, maybe I'll say very curly, blonde hair and do I have big blue eyes or sparkly blue eyes or twinkly blue eyes? I'll just say I have big blue eyes and big blue eyes. So when you're doing yours, you might say I have very shiny black hair and my big brown eyes or eyes as dark as chocolate. Okay, so let's use some good description. Make these really interesting. I wear glasses. I don't always though, so I'm going to put sometimes. I sometimes wear glasses. Most of the time at school you see me wearing my glasses, but sometimes I wear contact lenses, like when I go bicycling or, or out to dinner or something. I am in third grade at Immaculata Catholic School. My teacher's name is Ms. Lewis. Maybe I want to say something about Immaculata Catholic School. Maybe I'll write, it is a great school where we learn about God. I went to Catholic school when I was a little girl too. My school was called St. Philip's School. So I'm going to say at Immaculata School, it is a great school where we learn about God. My teacher's name is Ms. Lewis. She is very beautiful. She looks like a movie star. Well, okay, you don't have to say that, but you could say something if you want to. You can say she is nice or she is smart. The next paragraph, let's see. I have two brothers and four sisters. I like to ride my bike and I love to read. Someday I want to learn to be a lawyer. My mom says I'm good at arguing. I like that part because that's kind of funny. Someday I hope to go to Paris, France to see the Eiffel Tower. I like, I think this is pretty good. I might say I have two brothers and four sisters. Um, I like to ride my bike. And I might say on the Swamp Rabbit Trail. That's where I go sometimes. On the Swamp Rabbit Trail. Some of you maybe have been there. Maybe you've heard of it. And I love to read. Um, what kind of books do I like to read? I love to read mysteries. So maybe I'll just say I love to read mysteries. Someday I want to learn to be a lawyer. Or I could just say, someday I want to be a lawyer. Someday I want to be a lawyer. My mom says I'm good at arguing. And then maybe that doesn't quite make sense. Um, so I might say I want to be, I want to be a lawyer. My mom says, I'd be good I'd be good because I like arguing if it, that makes it sound a little more clear. 
Someday I hope to go to Paris, France to see the Eiffel Tower. Okay. And my final paragraph where I'm talking to her. Now I'd like to ask you something. Or again, you know, maybe I don't I don't maybe I'll say something more like um I do kind of like that's enough about me. That's enough about me. What about you? What about you? How are you? Do you take Shotzi for walks? Does Shotzi like the snow? How old is she? She's very cute. Well, instead of she's very cute, I might want to say, I like her curly white hair and her cute little nose. Hmm. So up here too, you might say, I have two brothers and four sisters and a cat. And or a dog. So you might include your animal in, as part of your family. When we're all finished, we see at the bottom of the page, there's a place where you can sign. And it says, sincerely again, huh? this is hard to see, but at the bottom it says, sincerely, comma, and underneath you write your name, and you can write your name in cursive. Okay? So, once you're ready to make your first draft, so you've got all your ideas, send me a picture of your first draft. I will write you back to let you know if there's anything that I see that you need to fix. And then you'll be ready to write your final. If I didn't give you enough room to write on these lines, you can add more. You can write more on the back. But you really only need three paragraphs. You could also write small. So when you're doing your first draft, you might figure out that, oh my goodness, I'm writing too big so that when you get to your final, you can write a little more small. Then I'd like you to color it and you could even include a picture of yourself or on the back, draw a picture for Mrs. Hardwick. And I am going to collect these and I'm going to send them to her. She will just be thrilled. Okay, see you later.